Have you ever dreamt of mastering the art of crafting the perfect egg for your ramen? You know, the kind with irresistibly golden gooey yolks and smooth yet firm whites? Well, you're in luck. It's easier than you think. But first, let's dive into the cooking process. Bring a pot of water to boil, just enough to fully submerge your eggs. Make a small hole in the bottom of each egg. I use a handy tool for this. You see, it's very springy, but a small needle works just fine. Lower your eggs gently into the boiling water, being careful not to break them. Once your eggs are nestled in the water, let them simmer gently for about six and a half minutes. It's a sweet spot where the whites are firm, yet the yolk remain delightfully jammy. Don't forget to gently stir the eggs during the first minute of cooking to keep the yolks centered and ensure a perfect presentation later. As the timer ticks away, prepare a bowl of cold water with ice cubes. Once the eggs are cooked, transfer them immediately to the icy bath to cool completely. This makes peeling the shells a breeze. Once cooled, tap the eggs gently to crack the shell all around. Start peeling from the bottom, where the hole was made, and when there is usually a small pocket of air. Then slide a spoon between the shell and egg, turning gently to remove it in one piece. If you encounter resistance, simply dunk the egg back into the cool water and rotate slowly until the shell separates. With the shells gone, it's time to enhance their flavor. Place the eggs in a container and add the seasonings. 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of mirin, and about 8 to 10 tablespoons of water. Cover the eggs with a paper towel so to keep them submerged and let them marinate in the fridge overnight for up to 2 days. Make sure you keep turning them over so often. If you don't rotate them, you might get some white streaks here and there, just like I did here, but that will not diminish the flavor. Once marinated to your liking, slice the eggs with a single smooth motion using a sharp knife. Behold the creamy center and firm edges. I encourage you to give these eggs a try and share where you'd use them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and have craving for more, hit the like button and subscribe. Next week, I'll show you how to whip up my signature ramen, featuring these delectable eggs. Until then, bye-bye!